My name is Alexis Ball and I am a PhD candidate in biological oceanography with the Department of Earth, Ocean and Atmospheric Sciences and the Institute of Oceans and Fisheries. I am going to the Southern Ocean and specifically I'm going to the South Atlantic sector of the Southern Ocean. So leaving Cape Town and then going directly south to about 50 degrees latitude and then just going straight west to South Georgia and the South Shetland Islands, or South Sandwich Islands, and then to the Falkland Islands. So we are going to be collecting zooplankton, which are these small microscopic organisms. And so my team and I will be collecting the zooplankton, but more specifically, we'll be looking at selps. And they have this behavior to undergo this daily migration. So we'll have this amazing opportunity to witness their migration with a deep sea high resolution camera. So we'll be focusing on selps and hoping that we can observe their behavior more closely. Dial vertical migration is actually the largest mass migration on earth and it contributes to carbon export. And what I mean by that is the phytoplankton that sit in the upper layers of the ocean, they undergo photosynthesis, similar to the way that our house plants do. These selps, they migrate from the depths of the ocean to the surface and they eat the phytoplankton. So they're filling their bodies with carbon and nutrients and then they migrate back down to depth when the sun rises and they're basically attenuating the amount of carbon from the surface to depth. And this helps not only support the deep sea food web, but it also helps store carbon for decades, hundreds of years. And this helps mitigate climate change. So in a sense, we're hoping to learn how selps contribute, how, like the, how numerous they are and how much they contribute to this style vertical migration. And how much they're actually sequestering for long term. The best part is just going to, to be out in the ocean. I feel like it's, I'll be able to get to know the ocean in a completely new way. It's very intimate just being out there in the blue and not seeing anything. Um, it actually really scares me at the same time because it is like we're at the, you know, just the ocean is a beast, it's a, its own force of nature. So, you know, that will be a huge learning experience, but really exciting at the same time. I'm really excited just to have the opportunity to go out to sea. I feel like this is an opportunity that most oceanographers want to experience, but like it is, it doesn't happen to everyone. Um, so I'm just excited to experience this side of science and I've done lab work, I do modeling work on my computer, but I've never done field work. So this is a completely new part of the science that I'll get to experience for the first time. And let's see if I like it or not. Hopefully I do, I imagine I will.